What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are trying to fix the IWE on the Raptor. Hey, you wanna get your trash out of my way? This kid, I'm trying to film a video. Hey, what's going on? Make sure that you hit that thumbs up button real quick while you're here anyway. Uh, it'll help us both out. Go ahead and hit subscribe too. And since it seems like you like pushing buttons, go ahead and hit the bell notifications. Now back to the video. Here is the factory system. Right here is your solenoid, and these are the lines that will pop off of it and go down. This here is your bleeder. And sometimes when you start to get leaks in your lines here, what will happen is the vehicle will try and shove itself into four-wheel drive. So this here is the new solenoid as well as a new line. We got this off of Amazon for, I believe it was like $39 and it shipped to us within a day or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that out right now for this unit and see if that's what fixes our problem. So as I said earlier, this it was a pretty cheap part. It was only $32.99 actually. This is just me disconnecting the bleeder valve and then the actual piece itself. I went ahead and left in that noise there so you guys could hear that, that you will have some air evacuating from the system. So if you hear that, nothing's gonna screw up. It'll charge itself back up. But for anybody who has a Raptor or, or four-wheel drive F-150, sometimes you might start hearing like a grinding or a ticking noise. Uh, you'll start to realize that the vehicle's driving a little weird. It's because the system with the vacuum is used to keep four-wheel drive disengaged rather than push it into gear so when you start getting those leaks it'll start to try and jam itself back into gear and that's where you get that grinding from what you're seeing here right now is just me putting this back together in real time it was so easy now if you do have to do something where you need to get down near the hubs that's a little bit more involved which I haven't had to do but this here as of right now I think fix the problem so when you experience this problem, normally what, when you experience this problem, it's after the vehicle is warmed up. I just drove the vehicle to go get Nate. So we should be able to experience whether or not this is an issue. So go ahead, pop the vehicle on, put on your seatbelt for the love of God. All right, go ahead and take it out of four auto. So if you have a Raptor and you're experiencing this problem, if you put it in four auto, that takes away some of the problem. Now that we're in too high, let's go ahead and take her down the street and see what happens. Okay, so right now I'm not hearing any chattering. It seems like this may have fixed it. I don't want to speak too soon. Go this way. We'll just cut a quick square and see how it goes. So we're about two weeks removed from this fix right now, and it all seems to be working. I'll keep you guys posted on if anything else changes, but a $32.99 fix, you can get it on Amazon. Link down in the description below. Make sure to go and check it out. And while you're heading down there, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit the bell notifications. For any of you guys who have been following me for a little bit, you may notice a little bit of change to the page. That's because I got rid of the name Grassroots Self-Service Garage. I liked it. I liked the logo, but it's a mouthful. And uh, since I'm J-Dub Racing on Instagram, I decided J-Dub Wrenching will go along great with it. And uh, speaking of J-Dub Racing, I started another YouTube channel uh, link also down in the description. It's called J-Dub Racing, and it's going to be about myself and my friends taking cars racing. So videos will be popping up here within the next couple of weeks. So make sure to check that out. In the meantime, we gotta get to work here on this ST. Got a new engine, gonna be posting videos on that soon. So make sure, again, follow along and see how that goes. Until next time, thanks for the support. See you in the next one. Peace.